It's laundry day. Yeah, I know. I should probably put this away and do my video, but I'm not going to do that because I have things to do. But I thought I could multitask and do this all at the same time. So I think I'll do that. Um, somebody emailed me and asked me uh, how to make bug spray. And um, I've uh, explained that before, but I thought, ooh, I'll actually include this on a video today because I, because I can. <laughs> I fold like crap. Oh, this is, up, this is inside out. Oh, that's not good. Somebody asked me how to make bug spray because they have aphids and uh, spider mites. You know, making bug spray yourself is so much cheaper than buying it at the store. And it's so easy. I don't know why more people don't do it. And uh, probably because they don't know how. But after this video, you're going to know how. One thing you're going to need... <laughs> I have everything in my laundry basket. You're going to need a spray bottle. Spray bottles are very inexpensive. You can get them at the grocery store, the hardware store. You know, they cost like a dollar or something like that. Get yourself a spray bottle. You're going to need water. And... Let's make room for this. Mr. Science, you're going to need hot sauce. Oh, that's not hot sauce. You're going to need... <laughs> uh, that, that, no, you didn't see that. You're going to need hot sauce. That's not hot sauce. Um, you're going to need hot sauce. Yeah, I knew it was in there somewhere. Okay, you're going to need hot sauce. The hotter, the better, because what really kicks this in is the capsaicin, which is the hot in the hot sauce. I use Tabasco because Tabasco is hot enough and it's liquid. You don't want to use salsa. You don't want to use anything chunky because it's going to clog your sprayer. So uh, you can use chili powder, but sometimes it doesn't dissolve well enough. That's why liquid hot sauce is good. And don't spend money on name brands. Even though I have Tabasco, which is a name brand, I use this to eat. But you can go to the grocery store and get any kind of generic hot sauce. The hotter, the better, okay? Because the hotter it is, the more it's going to affect those bugs. Dish soap. Dish. Aha! I knew it was in there. <laughs> and dish soap. If it's a water bottle this size, which is about maybe two cups, use one tablespoon. If it's a quart, which is a larger one, Use two tablespoons. It really is hard to use too much. If you want to use half a bottle, knock yourself out. As much hot sauce as you want. Throw the hot sauce in there. Pour in one tablespoon for every two cups of water. Okay? Don't forget. Write that down, okay? One tablespoon for every two cups of water. So for this, I would use one tablespoon of soap. For a quart bottle, I would use two tablespoons. And if you're going to go any larger than that, you apparently have a bug problem that I can't solve. <laughs> You put those in there, pour the water in, swirl it around really well, shake it up if you want, but if you shake it up, it's probably going to make suds, unless you fill it up almost all the way. Now, how simple was that? That is the easiest homemade remedy, and is very effective, by the way. I've tried this, and it does work. You take your spray bottle, you go outside, or inside if you have the inside bug problems, spray the tops of the leaves. Now, usually these sprayers will have two settings. They'll have mist, or they'll have this long spray. Put it on mist because you want to cover as much surface area of the leaves and plant as possible. Put it on mist, spray the underside of the leaves. Now that's where a lot of bugs will hang out. And you know bugs aren't stupid. They have not been around for millions of years by being stupid. They're actually very smart. When trouble comes around you'll notice that a bug will run and it goes underneath the leaves. It goes underneath the leaves because that's protection. So what you want to do is you want to hit the top sides of the leaves and then Go to the bottom sides of the leaves and give it a light misting. You know, that's the nice thing about this concoction. It will not hurt your plants. It will not hurt your soil. It will hurt those bugs. It will hurt them bad. And uh, that's because the capsaicin, I believe, now don't quote me now, don't, don't quote me. I believe the capsaicin uh, draws the moisture out of them or does something really funky. Bugs cannot deal with that kind of abuse and they die. And that's what you want. It will kill aphids. It will kill spider mites. It will probably tick off hornworms. It will kill uh, cabbage worms if you spray them enough. It will kill thrips, which are those little flying things that really bug you. It'll kill gnats. It'll kill just about every little tiny bug. It won't kill the big bugs, but it will kill a lot of those little bugs that are bothering your garden. And if you spray a slug, it it, the slug is not going to like it at all. So this will take care of a lot of things. You know, there are things that this will not do. I mean, this is a miracle spray, but it is not a total miracle spray, okay? It will not take care of things like ugly people. <laughs> it won't get rid of ugly people. I'm sorry, there's limits to what this spray will not do. It will not get rid of ugly people like this or this 
or this, ooh, or this. Unfortunately, it won't get rid of crappy Republicans. I can't fit it, man. Democrats. Yes, you can. No, you can, can. Yes, you can, can. Oh, I think you belong. Yes, you can, can. Tea Party. Team of Mavericks. Team of Mavericks. Team of Mavericks. <laughs> Go like this. And it will take care of your bug problem and it will make your garden a lot happier. It's so simple to do, so easy to use, and so effective. So there, I have done a bug control video while I did laundry. I wanted to show you some stuff that I've been getting in the mail because I've been gathering up mail and people are like, when are you gonna do your next mail video? When are you gonna do your next mail video? And um, how about today? I know, isn't it great? I'm doing a mail video. I got this big old envelope in the mailbox and the mail lady just crammed it in there. And so it's a good thing it wasn't breakable. But look what I got. Green is one of my favorite colors, so I don't know who sent this. And that's the weird thing. I thought this was something that I had ordered because I'm always ordering stuff for my garden or my grow room or something like that. Ooh, I got some really cool stuff coming in. I ordered some seeds and I got to show you those when they come in because I looked them up on the internet and it was just the weirdest thing. You know, a couple of you might know what I'm talking about when they come in, but I am just so excited to show you. I'm going to show you on the Praxis channel though because it's a growing type of garden thing and uh, it's just the most bizarre and you know me i'm always looking for something a little bit different this is different and um, i'm gonna grow it and show you how it goes but for right now let's get back to mail day somebody sent me this and there was no letter and there was no nothing i mean i don't know who it's from it just says tab so if that's a name hi tab and thank you uh, I was really kind of freaked out because I thought, ooh, this could either be something good or something alive. So <laughs> I went to the window and I go, mm. <laughs> and nothing jumped out. So I was pleasantly surprised. And then when I opened it up, I was really surprised. Look at this. Nice. Oh, let me come up here. Wow, huh? You go like, yeah, yeah. And uh, no, you don't do that. I, uh, it's a letter opener. Yeah, like you didn't already know that. But um, yeah, I thought it was really cool. And what's really nice about it, it has coins, not actually put in there, but they're embedded in this plexiglass stuff. You know, somebody was probably watching me do mail day and they saw how I open up stuff. You can see how I open things up, basically, and I grab it out of there. <laughs> I'm not very gentle. And uh, this is going to be so cool because now, well, you can't open this with it, but um, I can now open up mail like a gentleman. So this is cool. Thank you so much, Tab. I think it's Tab. I hope it's Tab. It's probably a company. But um, Tab, thank you for this. That is really nice. I'm always looking... I like the way this closes. I actually snapped it on my finger and scared the heck out of myself. But um, I'm getting entertainment even out of the box. So this is nice. This is from Canada, our neighbors up north. And um, it's from Guillaume. Did I say that right? Guillaume. That's actually fun to say. Guillaume. Thanks for the letter, Guillaume. I really appreciate that. And um, I don't read the letters uh, online because I generally like to keep that just between me and whoever sent them, unless they ask me to read it online. But So that's why I don't read them to you. It's not that I don't want you to hear what's on there. It's just that it's kind of a private thing, you know? But the things that they send, I love to share with you. And I ask the person first if it's okay if I put it on video. I tell them. And if they have a problem with it, I don't. So I have received a lot of mail that you just don't see because some people are very private and they don't want their stuff shown on there. It's just between them and me and I can understand that. So, Guillaume sent me something and this was a while back. You know, some of this mail isn't from recent. It's from a while back, but I like to make sure I have a little bit to show you instead of just one piece of mail. I mean, come on, who wants to do a video with just one piece of mail? I talk really fast sometimes, don't I? <laughs> Guillaume sent me some seeds and uh, these ones are called Peter Pepper Seeds. And uh, if you don't know what Peter Pepper seeds are, please look it up on the internet because I'm not going to go any further than saying that. So uh, it's uh, kind of funny and uh, kind of different. I'm going to be growing those. 
But he also sent me uh, some seeds that I've been wanting so bad because I ordered them online and the person ripped me off and I had to reverse the charges and get my money back. I had ordered some boot jalokia or butt jalokia. I like to say butt jalokia because it's funnier. I said butt. Now I think it was Guillaume that sent me butt jalokia seeds before when I lived at my old house and they never sprouted. And I think it was just me. I don't, I think I must have messed something up, but they never sprouted. And so he was nice enough, thank you so much, to send me more seeds. And he sent me 12 seeds and I planted them and 10 out of 12 sprouted. I did really good this time. So I have 10 boot jalokia plants growing in three cups. I have three in one and three in the other one and four in the other one. So I have all kinds of them and I'm going to grow them in pots all winter long and take such good care of them and I'm going to have butt jalokias of peppers all over the place and hopefully I'll have enough to share with the viewers. Wouldn't that be cool? And um, so that's something really nice and that if it comes out right, which I'm sure it will, will be all courtesy of Guillaume. So everybody, thank Guillaume if I ever send you any jalokia seeds. It's courtesy of him. Thanks a lot. I appreciate that. Angel had sent me lots and lots of stuff and a really nice letter. And um, I like the way Angel writes. I wish I could write this nice, but I can't. Mine looks like I just duct taped a pen to my fist and went like that. And uh, so that's why I don't write letters. I don't like writing letters. I type them if I ever write them. You'll never get a handwritten letter from me. But uh, Angel has really good handwriting. I should have paid more attention in school, shouldn't I? So Angel wrote me a letter and sent me all kinds of different flower seeds, which I'm going to plant in my garden next year. I have a, an area that I've devoted just to flower seeds. And so... I have flowers and they are going to be blooming in Minnesota courtesy of Angel. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for having nice handwriting. I love being able to read a letter and not have to decipher it. Yeah, it's really nice that way, huh? And ah, this one is from Andrew. Hey Andrew. Andrew uh, uh, sent me a message and asked if I uh, received um, the letter and I didn't want to answer. I, I wanted to make it a surprise. Yes, I did. You know, since I didn't have my handy letter opener, I'm opening it up with my claws, and uh, beans flew out, so I had to go gather all the beans, and I did find every single one of them. So I have beans from Andrew, and I have a note from Andrew. <laughs> and Andrew's 11, by the way, and uh, wanted me to uh, grow some watermelon radishes, which I'm trying to grow, but I didn't grow them very well, so now I have a second chance, thanks to Andrew, it's really nice how things work out, you know? I kind of messed up my watermelon radishes. I grew them in too much heat, so they didn't do very well. And I thought, wow, I really would have liked to grow those and have good watermelon radishes. And what happens? Somebody sends me more watermelon radish seeds. It's just weird how things turn out. And um, I think it's a karma thing. I know some people don't believe in karma or, you know, things like that. But I try to do what I can uh, to make as many people feel better about their gardens and feel better about how they do things. And I think sometimes, sometimes it comes back to me. And uh, this is kind of proof of it, I think, because it was something that I really wanted to try and I didn't want to go out and look for the seeds. And I thought, well, I kind of messed that one up. Let's just move on and then look what happens. So it's kind of cool. I like the way things happen like that. The last thing is wildflowers. And you know, it really looks weird. It looks like pepper. So I don't know what this is going to be. Don't tell me, Andrew, don't tell me. I want it to be a surprise. I love surprise. Ah, don't do that. <laughs> Wildflower seeds. Yeah, that's really nice. Oh, and uh, so thanks, Andrew. Um, I have something I want to show you. So come over to the table with me. I want to show you another gift that somebody sent me a long time ago. Well, actually not a long time ago. A little while ago. And I didn't give a thank you out. And I want to do it right now, okay? Come on over here with me. Here's the Medusa pepper. What do you think? There are four of those growing in here. They started out in a little plastic cup. They got too big and I moved them in here and buried them a little bit deep so the stems are putting out some roots, I'm sure. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And it's going to have some fantastic, crazy looking peppers. You know, that is one heck of a beautiful plant. It is going to grow full, it is going to grow tall, and I am going to have little Medusa peppers all over the place. Thank you so much. Thank you for sending that. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I got to get going. I have laundry to do, and uh, 
it's not as fun as it looks. So I'll talk to you all soon, all right? Thanks for tuning into the Voodoo Garden channel as always. I do appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe now and I'll keep doing these videos and I'll start adding more stuff too. So thanks a lot and I'm going to leave you with this. My fearless hunter caught a grasshopper and won't let me near it. Hey, you want to share that with YouTube? That's the best you could do? No rabbits? <laughs> you little butthead.